All right, continuing from 51. Number 51. What is the percentage of calf vein thrombosis propagating cephalid or towards the heart? A, 5 to 10 percent. B, 15 to 20 percent. C, 20 to 25 percent. Or D, 100 percent. The answer is B, 15 to 20 percent. Number 52. This is a diagram of what type of graft? A. Dialysis graft B. Femoral femoral graft C. Femoral popliteal Or D. Aortofemoral The answer is C. Femoral popliteal Number 53 An increased resistive index in the common carotid may indicate which of the following? A. Distal stenosis B. Proximal stenosis. C. Occlusion. D. Sample gate too large. The answer is A. Distal stenosis. Number 54. The normal route for venous flow is A. Deep veins, perforators, superficial veins. B. From proximal to distal. C. Superficial veins to perforators to deep veins. Or D, away from the heart? The answer is C, superficial veins to perforator veins to deep veins, then towards the heart. Number 55, while scanning a lower extremity venous duplex, you notice the femoral vein is not compressible. There is no color flow or internal echoes. What may be the cause? A, compartment syndrome. B, venous insufficiency. C, Acute DVT or D, varicose veins? The answer is C, acute DVT. In the very early phases of deep vein thrombosis, the clot may be anechoic. Number 56. This patient, the one with the DVT, has a blank percent chance of developing venous insufficiency in 5 to 10 years. A, 50%. B, 70%. C, 80%. Or D, 90%? The answer is C, 80%. Number 57. You get an order for a patient with a pulsatile mass after a radial artery stick. What does this color Doppler indicate? A, DVT. B, fusiform aneurysm. C, pseudoaneurysm. Or D, ischemia. The answer is C, pseudoaneurysm. This color Doppler image is showing the classic yin-yang or Pepsi-Cola sign of a pseudoaneurysm. Number 58. The outer layer of a vein is A, adventitia, B, media, C, interna, or D, none of the above. The answer is A, adventitia. Sometimes it can be called also tunica externa. Number 59. What findings are seen on this cerebral angio? A. Internal carotid artery stenosis. B. External carotid artery stenosis. C. Internal carotid artery aneurysm. Or D. Middle cerebral artery aneurysm. The answer is C. Internal carotid artery aneurysm at the ophthalmic level. Number 60. What condition is seen in this CT angio? A. Renal artery stenosis. B. Renal vein thrombosis. C. Fibromuscular dysplasia. Or D. Aortic aneurysm. The answer is C. Fibromuscular dysplasia. You can see the classic string of pearl sign. Number 61. What's the correct order of the intraparenchymal renal arteries? A. Segmental, inferior, mid, superior. B. Arcuate, ureteral, lobar, medullary. C. Segmental, interlobar, arcuate, interlobular. Or D. Arcuate, sinusoidal, circumflex, medullary. The answer is C. Segmental, interlobar, arcuate, interlobular. Number 62, 
While scanning a dialysis graft, you notice a high frequency vibration upon palpation. This is A, brui, A, thrombosis, B, stenosis, C, thrill, or D, occlusion. The answer is C, thrill. Number 63, what happens upon inspiration? A, inthra A intrathoracic pressure increases. B, venous return decreases. C, abdominal pressure increases. D, A, B, and C. Or E, B, and C. The answer is E, B, and C. Both venous return decreases and the abdominal pressure increases. Number 64. This image through the suprasternal notch angling down towards the mediastinum reveals what vascular anomaly? A. Correctation of the aorta. B. Duplicate superior vena cava. C. Absent right brachiocephalic vein. Or D. Atretic superior vena cava. The answer is B. Duplicate SVC. This anomaly is, this anomaly is present in about 0.3% of the population. Number 65. This waveform is seen in what condition? Number 65. This waveform is seen in what condition? A. Stenosis. B. Normal biphasic flow. C. Pseudoaneurysm. Or D. Distal occlusion. The answer is C. Pseudoaneurysm. This is the classic to and fro sign. Number 66. What condition would you suspect in this transplant renal artery? A. Normal B. Thrombosis C. Occlusion or D. Stenosis The answer is D. Stenosis. There's aliasing in the middle of the artery. Number 67. What vessel is being interrogated here? A. External carotid artery B. Internal carotid artery C. Superior thyroid artery or D. Portal vein? The answer is B. Internal carotid artery. You have a nice low resistance waveform. Uh, the portal vein is usually a monophasic or slightly phasic venous waveform. External carotid artery is higher resistance as is the superior thyroid artery. Number 68. How can you describe this dialysis graft? A. Stenotic B. Aliasing C. Monophasic D. Biphasic E. All of the above or F. A, B, and C The answer is F, A, B, and C You can describe it There is stenosis, there is aliasing, and the waveform is monophasic Number 69 what vessel is the red arrow pointing to? Number 69. What vessel is the red arrow pointing out? A. Right middle cerebral artery. B. Left middle cerebral artery. C. Right anterior cerebral artery. Or D. Left anterior cerebral artery. The answer is A. Right middle cerebral artery. Number 70. What finding is displayed on these images? A. Anterior cerebral artery aneurysm B. Middle cerebral artery aneurysm C. Vein of gallon aneurysm or D. Pericolosal artery aneurysm The answer is C. Vein of gallon aneurysm Number 71. This TCD exam suggests A. Vasospasm B. Right internal carotid artery occlusion C. Left internal carotid artery occlusion or D, left middle cerebral artery stenosis? The answer is C, left internal carotid artery occlusion. You have normal flow in the right middle cerebral artery and flattened peaks with reduced velocity in the left, suggesting right ICA occlusion with collateralization from the right. Number 72, what findings are shown in this great vessel Doppler? A, left brachiocephalic thrombosis. B. Right brachiocephalic thrombosis. C. Left brachiocephalic thrombosis with catheter. Or D. Right brachiocephalic thrombosis with catheter. 
The answer is D, right brachiocephalic thrombosis with catheter. Number 73, this axillary vein is positive for A, occlusive thrombus, B, non-occlusive thrombus, C, aneurysm, or D, dissection. The answer is B, non-occlusive thrombus. Number 74, normal flow in the portal vein is A, hepatopedal, B, hepatofugal, C, centripetal, or D, centrifugal. The answer is A, hepatopedal, towards the liver. Remember, hepatofugal means away from the liver. Just think about fugal, fugitive, running away. Number 75, the first branch of the abdominal aorta is A, superior mesenteric artery, B, inferior mesenteric artery, C, celiac artery, or D, hepatic artery. The answer is C, celiac artery. Well, this concludes the third set of questions. Um, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Um, stay tuned for the next set.